Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr Sealy P. This is Ningen Farms. This is a new mod map by Aussie Farmer. Um, it does say on the website uh, Ningen Farms, located in central wheat belt of Western Australia. I've tried to make it as close as I can to real life. Um, it does say farm history. My great grandfather purchased his farm in 1929, then proceeded to clear the land and begin farming. I am the fourth generation to live and farm this land. As the farm turned 90 years old, farming simulator turned 10. I thought this would be the perfect time to produce and release this map. It does say this is my first map for farming simulator, and I would like to thank everyone for the for that has helped me to complete the map. So. This will use 158.75 megabytes. Um, there are contracts available. It does not say in the website on the on the mod hub whether it's seasons ready or not. So I would take it from that that it's not. But don't quote me on that. It could be. Um, there are some custom features on this. Uh, it does say custom environment edits to place the sun in the correct position as in real life, which is rather cool. Um, and obviously there are some custom colour grading because, you know, I've never been to Australia, but my perception... Oh, butterfly, look. He's distracted. <laughs> um, you get that kind of reddish um, dirt out in sort of the outback and stuff, only from what I've seen on films and stuff like that, but that's been done here. So, where do we start? What do we start with? Well, like I said, contracts are available. If we scroll across to the main map, which is just here, we start just off to the right of central. There is a road that runs around most of the map. On the um, western side of the map, especially the northwest, there isn't really a road as such. There are a lot of these riverbeds, um, drainage ditches or irrigation ditches, whichever way you want to look at it, um, that run through. Stay well clear of them. They are incredibly um, sort of jagged, I suppose is the best word to, to put it. You'll see as we go around, I'll explain a couple of things as we go around. There's a few sell points. Field prices are incredibly cheap. On New Farm, which I'm, I normally do my map tours on, you start with the main farm. All the animal pens are in the main farm, as with the farmhouse and some equipment. You start with field 7, 11, 14, 12, 32, 23, 16. So a fair few fields, and these are a fair size as well. Prices of fields are very, very cheap considering their size and even better than that the biogas plant my bugbear in life 191 that's what you gotta pay not 191,000 191 and the biogas plant is yours so we'll buy it for 191 come back out there we go that's all it cost <laughs> 191 brilliant um like i say field prices though field three huge field 187,000 not bad at all field 30 sorry 127,000 and so on and so forth 74 grand so buying land's not going to be too much of a problem there's a little bit of forestry uh we've got it says on here the woody pecker but on the website on the signs it all says woodpecker so could just be a typo on one or other of them um we have got the sawmill for uh, wood chips and lumber and we've got this kind of agroforestry almost like a nursery area set up down here which you can buy for 70,000 and so if you wanted to plough out between and have agroforestry if you want to cut all the trees down that's entirely up to you but that's pretty much all the forestry there is on here like it does on the website this they've tried to make it as close to real life as they possibly can so Aussie Farmer is trying to make it as close to what the farm is like where they are so um, let's should we just whiz around the sale points yeah let's whiz round We've got the biogas plants, we've just bought it, but we've got bouncing bales, Bruce Bargain, Dragon Exports, Galvis Gavison Grains and ML Grains. Uh, those four from Bruce Bargain down to Gavison's uh, ML Grains are your four main sell points. Then you've got the spinnery, obviously, for your wool and your cotton. Uh, bouncing bales is your bale sell point. And then you've got uh, Woody Pecker um, wood chips as your sawmill. There are no custom crops on this. It's standard, pretty much standard across the board. Um, if we go in and look at our garage, what do we start with? Um, it's very weird, and I'm finding this a lot. Um, I say well, it's not weird. I don't. Know. 696 out of 1299 slots used. If you come onto New Farmer, you do start with a fair bit of equipment, and you do start with um, 
some buildings and the animal pens. If you come onto this on Farm Manager or start from scratch, you've only used 380 out of 1299. But you start with nothing. No buildings, no land owned, anything like that. So we do have a case maximum. And if you look at the slot counts on some of these, especially the John Deere equipment, you could swap these out for ones with lower slots for console and you could start on a much lower slot count anyway by swapping some of these vehicles out but this is what you start with so we've got the man tgs we've got a t560 uh i do like the fact you start with a, a telehandler i think they come in very handy starting one's great pick up the cramp ks 950 trailer we've got a kinsey grain cart header we've got cultivators we've got the lemkin solitaire 12 cedar we've got a boom sprayer wind rower baler we've got a bale trailer which is very handy uh, milk and water tanker we've got some attachments for the telehandler and like I say we start with the cow pasture pig enclosure sheep pasture chicken coop and a grain silo easy shed one vehicle workshop the only thing that is modded is the farm garage that's not a standard one that's a modded one and the farmhouse the rest of it is pretty much standard giants fair so all the um, triggers for those for water hay straw you know, feed troughs are all as you would expect from the standard in-game ones so we are facing north now the farmhouse is just off to the right we've got a fairly big open area here when you start on um, farm manager or start from scratch none of this is here at all apart from this building this building is this stays very nicely detailed um, there are a couple of things as we go around that will become glaringly obvious. That's the modded garage that we start with. And this is our sleep through the night trigger farmhouse as we go in there. I'm not tired yet. And all the animal pens are dotted around this yard. So we've got our cows just there. Small cow pen. The workshop trigger just there. The easy shed just here. Silo does start with a few things in. All the vehicles and machinery are dotted around these sheds and buildings around here. We've got our sheep, we've got our pigs, our chickens, oh we went past chickens, they're just back there a little bit. Our chickens are just over there and our bale trailer is tucked away over here. Now most of the fields on the map are surrounded by fencing. It's a very open map in so much as the fields are very large and open. And I think pretty much all of the gates are double gates. So if you are going to use, use some of the big machinery, especially with the new Borgo um, DLC and Borgo do have um, equipment in Australia they've got a couple of I believe a couple of franchises if not more now in Australia um, you will be able to get through a lot of those with the double gates which is always very handy so we'll grab the pickup this is the main yard this is where we start this is our farm if you start on obviously new farmer we'll grab the pickup and we'll whiz around and look at some of the points now as I was saying, uh, there are some custom textures, there are some custom colours, um, which I like a lot. There are a couple of things, and I will put this proviso in, I've, I've started doing a little bit more now when I do uh, map tours, is that the conversion over from PC to console is a tricky one for map makers. Um, and something that when I first started doing map reviews on FS17 and, and M19, I wasn't particularly au fait with that. Now knowing a few more modders and map makers and having a lot more to do with giants this year, over the last 12 months anyway, um, I understand now the concept of the fact that these guys are making it on PC, they're coding for console, but there's no way of testing on console until it actually comes out. Now, I will always err on the side of, I'm assuming some of these things are because of the conversion over to console. It could be that it was done intentionally or has been left like this by the modder, but it could be the conversion over. So I don't want to be you know, kind of harsh or anything about things you notice, but you will notice them. We are going to head east and go along around that way, then I'll show you where we are at every point. Um, we've got kind of water by the side and there's a little creek, I guess. And this is the first thing to point out. The water has gone very glassy. It doesn't really have a water texture and it's kind of clung to the side. So there's not like a water fill plane. Now again, that could be the conversion over, I don't know. And there are a lot of these creeks, drainage ditches, irrigation ditches that go all across the map. And I th what's the best way of putting it? They're a bit clunky, I guess. Is They're not really smoothed out. So they're very sharp edged. And like I say, that could be the conversion over. But there are a few of these. 
and they are quite steep and quite sharp so avoid them like the plague with your machinery you do not want to be getting them caught up on that kind of thing but um they are dotted about and like i say there's there's no point in me kind of sugarcoating or hiding it that's what it looks like it is very glassy and i don't know if that's intentional or not so but i will point out i love i'm on the wrong side of the road don't i of course i am i love this this red dust mud uh i think it's absolutely brilliant there are some cracking road signs um, around the map about um, road trains and various different things. It's great. So we are going to look at a few of those as we go. There's another brilliant feature just off to the left here. I noticed as I drove up here earlier, and I thought, what is that? All I will say is I'm assuming Australians don't like vouchers. And I'm not speaking for all Australians, so don't comment and just start having a go at me. You'll see why when we get down into here. I love the fact that the rubbish is deposited below ground level so you can't actually see it. I'm assuming around this area they don't like golf or Valtras. Plenty of golf carts. Look at this. <laughs> How many Valtras? <laughs> oh dear. They've obviously done something to upset them. <laughs> yeah, we've got a few Valtras in here along with a load of rubbish and some golf carts. It's an interesting feature. It's not something I've come across before. Where do I need to pick up? So, we're going to go right to the eastern side of the map. Then we're going to head north up to the first of the cell points we're going to be checking out. Oh, something else I want to mention is... We'll just go hammering up here now. Um, that, for landscaping, the red texture is available as a texture to use on the ground however in testing it a little while ago the grass textures there are two different grass textures but they are not growing grass they are flat grass textures um, whether that will be amended in update or not i don't know but as it stands at the moment the grass textures are flat not um not growing standing up grass so we are now up in the northeast corner of the map to take us long actually mind you this thing goes a fair a fair lick and as we turn up here we come to i think it's bruce bargains here's the first of the signs i love look at that that's cool now outside bruce bargain they've got something very interesting they've got a kangaroo <laughs> It's an interesting feature, I like that. When I came up here to have a look earlier, it just made me grin when I saw it. So, we are up in the northeast corner of the map. So, we've come from the farm, along here, all the way up there. We're up the top here, at Bruce Bargain. We're going to go across the top here. There's a fuel station at the biogas plant. There's nothing out this way other than some ditches and obviously farm fields which are a fair size. We're going to head down this road and head out to the cell points here. Okay, there's the next of the signs I wanted to show you. Like that. I like the map because it's something different, especially on console. I know we had uh, Prismas Outback um, a little while ago. Well, I suppose because of the, 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 the texture and the red co kind of colour, it kind of gives you that feel already. Um, but it is something a bit different. Um, so, yeah, it's nice. So, fuel station. And the biogas plant just through here. Like I said before, it's all fairly standard fare. It's, you know, 
what we're used to seeing the digester above ground not a ground level tip one two biggish well, yeah fairly big I would say fairly big probably about four million litres each bunker silos with our digestate tank over here and now we're going to head south So pretty much down the middle of the map now. So we're just coming south now. And that road off to the left is the road that the farm's on. That we headed out straight from east. Tree lined. If we turn right here. Onto the road here that says Rough Road. I'm just thinking some of those bits like that um, some of the cedars and bits of machinery aren't going to like that very much I wouldn't have thought but it does break up the landscape and it makes it a bit more interesting for moving stuff about it does mean especially with the fences and the gates and stuff you can't just go tonking across the countryside with whatever machinery you've got but we are now coming up on Let's get there. Round the side here. To our left, we got Gavison Grains. The cell point is just tucked away round here. Big old buildings. There we go, just here. And then we have the livestock market. Just around here. Around here is for the selling of your bales. Is it bouncing bale? I think that's what it's called, isn't it? Let's check the map. So, let's say we come down to here, that's the road the farm's on. We turn that way. Yeah, bouncing bales. There we go. So, animal dealer, gather some grains, and bouncing bales. So, what we're going to do now is head back the way we just came, and then head south again. I'll show you where we are when we get to the next point. Right, so we are now down more the southern part of the map. We're going to turn right again, head out to the cell points out here. We've got ML Grains. Uh, we have got Dragon Exports. Is it Mech V? Mech V or Mech 5, depends whether it's a Roman numeral. I think it's Mech V. Spinnery. And the store is out this way as well. I know they do a lot of sugar cane in Australia. I know this is the, the wheat belt. Um, I just had kind of visions of huge fields of sugar cane and loads of land trains of trucks and carts and stuff, backwards and forwards, but obviously you can do whatever crop you want. So ML Grains is just to the right here. Then we've got a line buy point. Just here. If we carry on around. We come to Dragon Export. Which is just here. 
through the building. There we go. And a little bit further on. We have got the spinnery. So we have come from there, out back onto the main road, down the main road, out across here. ML Grains, Lime Station, Dragon Exports and the Mech V Spinnery. If we carry on around, we can't, if we go out that way we end up out in the field. So we need to come back around and come out onto the road and we'll go to the main store. Last Chance Autos. just in here for your buying selling maintenance customization of vehicles if you want to do it here if you need to reset a vehicle the vehicles reset back to here it's a nice big open area as well so if you are going to be buying large machinery I know on some maps the store is quite small and when vehicles are spawned they're really close to walls and there's plenty of space here so I mean that being said there's not a huge I mean it's to be fair I think it's probably big enough to get most vehicles out but if you're going to be using, this, especially the ball go stuff recently, very long stuff, getting out and turning might be a little bit trickier. But if you bump up the curb, I'm sure you'll be fine. So, back out from here. We're going to go head out back to the main road. And the last of the cell points we're going to go to is going to be the uh, sawmill. With woodpecker wood chips. Or woody pecker, depending on. So, when we get there, I'll show you the sign. A lot of traffic. Take care when overtaking. So as we come into the uh, sawmill, you'll see it's a very organised um, kind of nursery. There's trees of all different sizes. All very neatly laid out. And like I say, you could use it if you wanted to as agroforestry so you could plant in between. Or just if you want to cut them down, it's up to you. Um, as to whether or not the small ones grow, I think they're placeable ones. I don't think they're growing ones. Oh, that's a bit worrying. So we'll swing around now. Very organised. I like that. Yeah, so you could, if you want to, if you do buy this plot of land, just sort of plough in between if you want to leave the trees where they are. We have all different sizes. Our lumber point is just here. Now one thing I will say is a bit odd, and again it's just it's a minor thing, but kind of the road kind of intimates it leads around that way. Because if you go this way, you've got um there's not really a road bit, it kind of goes out into the grass there. However, the wood chip cell point is actually around this side. And it's actually facing this direction as well. So if you drive around the other way, which seems the more obvious route, this is pointing the wrong direction. So I suppose, essentially, if you can buy this bit of land, you can maybe landscape a bit around that. But this is where your wood chip cell point is. Just save you going away around the back to find it. Just there. So lumber on your wood chips. And then a bit of forestry. I don't like to say, this is not a forestry map. It's not designed for. I know a lot of map makers will put a bit on, because some people do like to do some. But if you don't, you don't have to do it but there is a little bit here to do should you wish to do so and that is pretty much it we've covered the whole map so we've come along here down here into woody pecker wood chips it says woody pecker on there it says woody pecker in there i'm pretty sure I'll find the sign I'm not sure which is a typo not, the, not this major thing it's really not a big deal at all but you want to, I better find one now. Or I just misread it. Yeah, that says woodpecker, so I'm not sure. That says woodpecker wood chips. I don't know. But, whoops, sorry. That's it. We can head back up, then turn right, and we're heading back over to the farm. Um, and that's it. That's Ningen Farms by Aussie Farmer. 
Um, yes, yeah, a nice map. There's some great features on this, and I, I like the fact it's different. Um, but there are a few bits on it that, like I say, I suppose yeah, clunky is probably the best word. But again, that could be the conversion over. I don't want to do the modder, my map maker, a disservice at all. Nice big fields, nice cheap prices, plenty of room to move your stuff around, especially with the new Borgo stuff that's been out recently. It might be a nice thing to try them out on. Can you landscape and all of it? I don't know. I haven't tried the entire map. It's quite difficult to do that when you're just doing a kind of first look. This is just have a look around and see what you think and show you where the sell points are. And as for playing on it, searching around it, finding everything and find out what works. That's half the fun of playing a map, isn't it? So there you go. I hope you found it useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.